looking now at another field of barley this is the one that's on the top of the hill on sandy sandstone looks pretty ripe a bit mushy because it it rained last night but i think the next time we got some dry days in a row we'll get up here get this block cut and then if there's any market for the straw we'll bale it if not we'll chop it doesn't seem to be much market for straw at the moment apparently livestock farmers aren't wanting to spend any money on straw we need to get the fields ready for drilling with oil seed rape so if there's no market we'll, we'll chop it we could probably store some under hay caps but it's just how much we store maybe we'll store the barley straw but we'll chop the wheat who knows andrew's been changing these teeth some of them have worn that far down yeah, this one's been welded on so we're just gonna have to trim it off with the grinder now hopefully we can put another one on i can keep it flat at the back Sure, picker Richards here with his new Brogan trailer. It's a bit of a beast. Sprung drawbar, mini super single, so it's like he used to have a Marshall, didn't he? Well, this is probably like a foot lower, a lot firmer, so it doesn't like roll on the bends. But he's extended it to to 28 foot, so he can get that extra extra row of bales on. You just need some blue paint, I think. Finish it off. Looks well built though, pretty smart. Got these like rails down the sides as well, which sort of finish it off a bit. Just not really made of much, but just makes it look right. Uh, brakes as well. Something for the Massey fans. Andrew took the loader off uh, Nemo so that you can see all its glory of its orange paintwork. Definitely needs an orange stripe round it though. Definitely. <laughs> Matches the high of his clothing range. Yeah. Someone said they want to hear the horns going, but they're not working very well, are they? They're like, ma, ma. Back spraying beans now, and you can see that they've sort of nearly stitched right over the tram lines. They're that thick now, and these are still growing as well. They've still got flowers on the top. It's a bit hard to see moving so fast, but they have. In fact, you can see better going down this tram line, and you can barely even see it. I've just jumped off the sprayer because this is my favourite field of beans. They are the tallest. They are up to sort of like this really stylish Agri Contract logo on my T-shirt back in Scott next week. But they're still flowering. Look at that. See them flowers still growing they've had rain there's loads of moisture because we've had rain we're up to the bumper on the basement and this basement's bumper is a lot higher than the last one and a lot higher than the one before it so i think this crop this year will be a good crop because that moisture just came in time probably not enough for the wheat but if we have a good crop of beans that's not too bad because they didn't cost us a lot in fertilizer to grow because they don't really have any fertilizer so yeah that is just thought i'd get off and show you and also if I flick the camera that was yesterday's birthday when we're getting wiped off but look can't even see the tram lines they just they are here if you look you can sort of see they've just sort of stitched across that's where they got run over last time i came through down there but look at all them beans now coming up look at that pod see that they've come in as look um a little bean there they're not very big inside yet they look more like peas but they're gonna grow hopefully so there you go, yeah, my favourite field of beans. So remember the guy yesterday that I didn't name, that said he'd stop subscribing because he didn't believe I knew what I was doing because I'd sown barley after barley, despite doing it for three or four years. It's probably up now, actually, I might go and check later. Anyway, I got a message again off him last night on Instagram saying that um, I'd named and shamed him, never even mentioned his name. So he's obviously watched the video, or he's been moaning to someone else that's rung him up and told him. I don't know. But either way, if you don't want to watch, don't watch. But I'm pushing the boundaries. 
I've got cheap fuel to dry my grain that I produce myself. I can cut my barley a month earlier than I cut it last year, and I managed to harvest last year's summer barley in December. So I'm hoping, because the day length is a lot longer this year, so sorry, the day length is a lot longer in June, that that four weeks earlier than struggling it last year will translate into two months earlier harvest next year. So hopefully we can cut it in October. Also, we should have a lot better yield out of it. So another little bit of a ramble. It just really annoys me that like, there's 40 odd thousand subscribers. You get loads of nice comments. But you just get one person that's just a bit like, I don't know what the word is. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Just, just like picking. I just think, oh, I can't be bothered. You know, if you don't want to watch, don't watch, that's fine. Just don't moan at me. Just go another way, you know. At the, people obviously do enjoy the channel, but when you get like comments like that, you do think to yourself, what is the point? I'm showing everyone my life. I'm spending, maybe the editing only takes 10 or 15 minutes in a day, but I do read every single comment and I do reply to everyone on every single platform. That takes an hour and a half to two hours a day. I don't need to do it. Don't get me wrong, it's nice that the Bateman is getting paid for, by YouTube, but, but in reality, I'm doing it to educate people of what's going on on farms. I don't have to do it. I, I enjoy doing it at the moment, but if I get more of that, it just takes the fun out of it. And I just think, what's the point? So I know I'm ranting, but it's made me feel better because yeah, just how one person can wreck your day. So I went to bed last night, I thought I'll read through some of the comments. Goes on Instagram, freaking another one, you know what I mean? My granddad never da, 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 said that he doesn't don't watch, don't follow me on Instagram, do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, he's apparently reported yesterday's video to YouTube. For what? Did I, did I, did I name and shame it? I don't think it did. Anyway, that was, that was a proper rant, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, it's done to be fair, you feel the beans, luckily. Or the leg spray. There we go, anyway. I forgot to show you this before, but this is what Richard brought up on his new trailer. So it's all the steel for the shed. We obviously need to paint it, or do we put it up and paint it, which is easier. I think it's easier to put it up and paint it. Maybe just paint the base plate before we put it up and then do the rest while it's there. Those people say, why have you not got it galvanized? Well, we don't have stock on the farm. It's stock sheds that you normally galvanize because they rust quicker. Someone had messaged me on Instagram actually that does paint, that'd be handy. If someone wants to bring me some green paint, we could paint it when it's up. But yeah, that, that's the plan. Uh, probably stick the framework up and then paint it afterwards. This is today's birthday bumper. I will do it slowly. I won't read them all out because I might mispronounce some of the names. Some of them yesterday, someone yesterday, someone's birthday should have been on yesterday, but it's not, it's on today because whoever went on the Just Giving page didn't put their name. It just put a donation, anonymous, anonymous. So I couldn't read it out. So that is why. So if it's your birthday yesterday, you're on today. Happy birthday and happy birthday everyone else. I know when I was looking at the barley before, I was talking about the value of the straw. Well, the muck that comes out of cows or whatever is also got a value. Now, do I need an MB, not, not an MB track, I've already got an MB track. Do I need a Unimog on a fifth wheel with an ejector trailer on the back? Bale me straw, seven foot six bales, load it through the back door, walk it to the front, get to a farm with cows, unload the straw and then bring a load of muck back? Or is it just too too much hassle but I like the fact that you wouldn't have to strap the straw in like I say bailing that little bit shorter and then back load with muck and then we've got muck back so muck for straw deals if you will the muck will probably pay the diesel for delivering the straw so someone will end up with cheap straw and I'll end up with cheap fertilizer is that a stupid idea should have bailed all my straw this year at seven foot six so I could hire a wagon in should have gone buy a trailer there's one on eBay now for nine grand and just tow it with a fifth wheel behind the tractor should I get a Scania to pull it with or should I get a Unimog on an, on a fifth wheel what do people think? Anyway, that is all for today. That's what I've been thinking about while I've been spraying today. And I did a live video as well. And I will see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, and sorry for the rant, but I just, just wound me up really. I'm just trying to, I don't know. Anyway, see you tomorrow.